What's up, everybody? It's Bear with BearIndependent.com. Today we are talking about the Jackery portable power station. This thing right here. It's bright because sun and power and solar and reasons. So Jackery sent this to me for testing and evaluation, and uh, I started pulling the stuff out of the box, and I figured I'd show you uh, the box because apparently unboxing videos is what's up. So we got two... 100 watt solar saga 100s right here just laid on the ground currently and then this is the el boxo right here jackery portable power station and you open this up like so and it's got a cool little baggie in here that's got stuff in it i don't know what that is yet and we'll just throw that there and a box Looks like some uh, parallel adapters for the solar panels. And then we have our little solar generator right here. The Explorer 1000. And as you can see, it's got uh, 110 outlets, USB-C, uh, USB, adapters and then a 12 volt adapter as well and i'm going to plug these guys up and leave this thing here in the modeled sunshine today and see what it does it also comes with manuals and stuff but the last time i checked i'm a man and i don't intend to read those all right so this pouch is all your different charging cables power supply and all that if you want to charge this from the grid so that it will hold a thousand watts of backup power because this is a battery in a box with some inverters in it that's what this is right and so there's you got a 12 volt cigarette adapter here you got a wall adapter so forth and so on that's what was in this pouch now i've got my little parallel adapter hooked up here so that I can hook both of these solar panels to the battery backup here. And I flipped this panel up because it has a pouch on the back of it, like so. I don't know what's in here, but I'm pretty sure it's a cable. Hey look, a cable. Now we're gonna plug this guy here into this guy here, and then hopefully the sun is gonna make all the magical pixies dance. They've also got here on the back a direct output for USB-C, 5 volts, 3 amps, little LED light, as well as USB-A, 5 volts, uh, 4 amps on the back of this panel. So you could plug this directly into your little battery backup box, or you could plug your accessories directly into here as well, it seems. And then it's also got adapters on the end of this cable, depending on what kind of hookups you've got on the other end, you can adaptify and overcome. All right, so if the hillbilly from Oklahoma can do it, you can probably do it. Boom, hooked up. It's taking longer to shoot this video than it is to do it. And uh, it already shows we're making power. We got about uh, input 16 watts currently. Battery is sitting at 44%. We'll come back and check on that here in a little bit. And the sun, is dappled on these panels right now so i'm not surprised that we're not making a bunch of power yet in fact it's relatively early in the morning the sun's just coming up so once it gets overhead we should be making good power we'll check back in a little bit after a couple hours in the sun we're up to 58 percent and i've been charging the iphone that we're recording this on with pretty cool all right let's talk a little bit why i was interested in the jackery system i intend to use this on our bug out trailer now normal people would probably take it camping right uh, or glamping or whatever you do you know stand it up next to your hotel room at the holiday inn or whatever you're into right uh but i intend to use this on our bug out trailer to charge our rechargeable batteries primarily for camo a little bit of nav a little bit of light, you know, on your uh, weapons lights and your handheld flashlights and your headlamps. And it's definitely got more than enough to do that. And this is the smaller one. This is the Explorer 1000. I think they've got a 1500 and a 2500 as well. This is the little guy. It's very compact. I mean, that's about the size of a car battery, 
back there with a little handle on top of it and then these panels fold up nice and tight and <clears throat> you know you could stow them away pretty easily so relatively light relatively uh, inexpensive and relatively portable and so that's why I was interested in trying this Jackery 1000 out as I, I I see a an opportunity for this to be good in a prolonged bug out scenario where if we have to make a base camp and I want to make some power uh, pr again primarily for Camo a bit for nav and a bit for recharging batteries and so uh, you know it's up at 66% uh, right now. It's, she's making 26, 27 watts right now, and I'm blocking the sun on one of the panels. And uh, the sun is, let's see, it's uh, 115 in the afternoon currently. So we're not even at the peak sunlight for the day. So we'll see what she does, but I really do thus far, you know, the initial testing of this, setting it up, it's easy to set up. A dummy can set this thing up. Lightweight, uh, portable, that's cool. All that's good. And, uh, you know, we'll see what we can run on it. And I intend to beat the crap out of this thing. I almost said a bad word. I intend to beat the crap out of this thing in uh, coming testing and evaluation. But as for right now, initial thoughts on it, I dig it. I like it. I think I've devised a very realistic test of the Jackery Explorer 1000's capabilities. Stand by. Coffee. There you go. Output 970 watts on the Jackery 1000 coffee being brewed we'll see can it do it so it takes about six percent of the battery to make a pot of coffee in about 10 minutes or so let's try it out bear independent mug coffee coffee yeah there's heavy cream in there you know the drill look at that good hot coffee oh yeah so here's the scenario China's dropped 14 nukes on the contiguous United States of America Russia is invading Ukraine Iran is moving against Israel and uh, the South Pacific is just a wash in blood and guts and tears because uh, the Philippines, Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand are all trying to back up Japan, which has also been nuked into non-existence by China. And all of your threat indicators are going off, your bug out indicators or clacks and horns are going off, it's crazy. And you hitch up your little bug out trailer and you just bug out to the wilderness. And you're like, you know what? These kids be annoying, even though I love them. And my wife just won't stop complaining about the fact that there's chiggers in her britches. I need a cup of coffee. And then you whip out your Jackery 1000 and your bear mug. And that's some damn good coffee. Legit. We made coffee with the sun. So, the reason I chose the coffee pot is it's got a, uh, like a thousand watt heating coil in the bottom of it. Well, this is rated for 1,000 watts. Let's see if it could do it. And as we saw in the output, it was pulling like 970. Occasionally, I was watching it, it would bounce up to 1,004 watts draw. Um, and it did it. It did it just fine. Made me a delicious pot of coffee. Shout out to Disaster Coffee, by the way, if you want good coffee with no political agenda. DisasterCoffee.com. Uh, so the Jackery, it works. This is the first time we've used it. It's the first test that we've done. It has had, uh, by my count, mm, six hours of dappled sunlight on it, and it went from 44% to about 80% in six hours with a max of 100 watts input, 100, 101. Now we have two 100-watt solar panels here uh, that are rated for 23% efficiency. 
And so this is why you do stuff like this, right? Uh, you can do all the calculations that you want, but you need to go test your stuff. And so this is my initial test of the Jackery. I like the quality of it. It's very easy to set up. It's relatively affordable as far as these things go on the market. It's compact. Uh, it's idiot proof. If a uh, redneck in Oklahoma can do it, so can you. And so the question is, when the world ends, how will you be drinking your coffee? I believe I know the answer to that question for me. And the real question is, the Jackery 1000, does it suck? No, no, I don't think that it does. In fact, I like it. I will continue to use it and I'll keep you all updated on it. But my initial impressions from the unboxing, like all the Instagram supermodels, uh, to now being set up in the driveway making coffee is I found it very easy to use. Um, it's idiot proof, man. It's absolutely idiot proof. I could probably teach my five-year-old how to use this thing. So, recommend? Yes, as of right now, recommend. You can find them. I'll put a link down in the description to this kit. And uh, tell them Bear sent you. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.